In today's video, we are installing a MSD Dynaforce starter. So if you've been keeping up with the saga of this Trans Am, I've been having starter issues and fuel pump issues, and this car left me stranded last week in a drive through line, and it was really embarrassing. So part of this journey is I'm tired of starter issues. There's a turbo kit I might get one year or decade, and they require this starter. And after some research, there's some hit or miss um, longevity issues with it. It does have a one year warranty, and apparently these last right at that one year. So one of the things with this starter is a lot of commenters or people who are reviewing these say they last just long enough to get past warranty, which is, which is one year. So why did I take the dive into this? My theory is, is that the battery cables are not being upgraded to match the demand of this starter. Saying that, going off of this diagram, I think I'm gonna be around the five foot or four foot length range. I've ordered one gauge battery cables for my positive and negative. So my theory is, matching the battery cables to the demand of the starter that this will make the starter live as it's intended. Also with that, I just went ahead and bought a starter shield. We're gonna see how that plays out. I've already test fitted it. It's about eight inches too long, so I don't know uh, how that's gonna work. Maybe I just need to trim it back. I don't know, I don't know, but we'll go through that. So back to the car. I need to get the car in the air. We need to disconnect our battery. Found my first issue already, got all our wires um, disconnected. The next is my positive cable has both my fuse uh, block, which is over there. So that cable runs all the way over here and they're on the same lug or terminal as my starter wire. So, but I need to keep my fuse block wiring. So we'll, uh, we'll figure that out once I get everything else disconnected and get on it under the car so we have the car jacked up and we're on jack stands so under the car here's our starter is two 15 millimeter bolts or 13 actually uh, one of the things with this MSD we got to check our opinion on the starter so we're going to, have to take our shield off of our 4080 this is this transmission is not standard for this car it's supposed to come with a 60 or a T56 but I have an 80 in mind so I got to take these bolts out and drop this uh, dust cover and get everything out and then I'll pick it up from there. So here's our starter installed. We have our supplied Allen head bolts with washer and we have one shim up there. That shim is 30 thousandths. There has been a lot of measuring, which pretty much you take a screwdriver you got to get the gear to come out like so and then once you do that i ain't gonna do it on camera well i ain't gonna be able to hold the gear up i can show you this way then you get your paper clip and you got to stick it in between the teeth and how they mesh this paper clip i have used my caliper to measure is around 32 thousandths and it is just snug kind of in there a little bit loose but when i initially done this it was really tight on one side so this thing the run out ain't perfect and we're talking about into the thousands so i'm happy with the thirty thousand shim and you can see i have it on one side because we didn't need to shim the gear out we needed to cock the uh the starter in if that makes sense so shim on one side brings it there next let me see if i can't get this to move let me get this gear in there we go next is supposed to be a one eighth of a gap here or sorry one sixteenth and we have that and then there is a you can see there's like a starter ring shim and then there's this shim right here that combined it said moves it out i think it says 60 thousandths so if we took those two out it would be too close because the next the other measurement is which i should have done it when the ring gear was out is that 
the starter gear is supposed to be supposed to be half to two thirds. And you can see we're right there on the edge of two thirds out. So if we took that shim out, it would be almost to the edge and they're saying that is too much engagement. So we have our starter shimmed. I got to take it down one more time because we're running our grounds, which is our negative that has to go here. So I'm getting ready to mock that up. And then I got to do the positive. It's going to go on top of our solenoid up here. But I'll reposition to show you all that. So we have our negative terminal done. I have some 90 degrees that I bought from Summit Racing. And I'm using this crimping tool to just hammer it down. Um, these are the terminals I'm using. You can see they're 90 degrees. And then I got the heat shrink that came with assortment plus some I had with our Milwaukee heat gun. And this is our final product. So we got 90 degree. This end's exposed just because of how I run multiple accessories off my battery. I had to remove the protective cover, but I'll show you about that as it's end result. So let's go put it back on the car. Okay, so we got our battery cables all routed. This is my ground, so I'm okay with it getting closed here. My positives um, routed on top. You can see the red. I do got it standoff. I, I believe in zip ties. I uh, would love to do 8Ls one day, but this car, I don't really want to drill it and rib nut it and do all that stuff. So lots of zip ties with standoffs. Let's scoot back here. We got our one gauge ran to our 90 going to our motor mount. And then our other one gauge positive is going up here to our solenoid. We have uh, used a torque wrench to torque our bolts. As you can see, we have a heat shield. I use some tractor supply electrical fence 17 gauge i think it is uh safety wire or lacing wire or electrical fence wire there so i feel pretty confident and i need to put our dust cover on but um i don't want to put it on until i test out the starter so that's why i'm shooting the video now and let me take you to the top so we're in the car uh let's see how she turns over <laughs> All right, that was a good start, but we had some extra noise. Let me, let me see. Our starter Bendix is back in. I'm going to go ahead and put our dust cover back on and get the car lowered to the ground. Okay, so it's been a few days now. I got about a hundred miles on the car and several starts, cold, hot. Um, I did have to remove the shim. So I have no shim now, it's just straight starter onto the engine block and torqued uh, according to MSD's uh, specification, which I think was 32 foot pounds. Either way, uh, check your instructions. So that is great now. Uh, so I want to end up this video and by doing that, we're going to do like a cold start. Then I'm going to drive it. I got to return a part and then we'll do a hot start. Okay, the engine is cold. I'm going to go start the car. hope y'all enjoyed a little engine rev uh engine was a little bit cold it eh, probably shouldn't have gave it that much but still it was fun hope y'all enjoyed that okay you are outside the car passenger side let me go start the car hot okay so that's our comparison hot versus cold sounded very identical um, just want to end off this video. I'm very happy with this starter. In fact, I kind of wish I would have maybe had it sooner, which I guess I never really had a need. Mentalways, really happy. The only downfall is a lot of reviews say that it doesn't last that long. So part of me mitigating that, and this might have already been discussed in this video, 
but it was the heat shield on the starter and we have one gauge wiring so given the starter appropriate gauge wiring on top of shielding it from some heat if this doesn't make it last i don't know what i will tell you this though you know i can't wait for this video to uh not uh, release this video a whole year but i will make another video if this starter does fail so if you're not subscribed please subscribe if you enjoyed this video and it helped you please leave a thumbs up button or hit the thumbs up button or hit the um the heart symbol i post this on tiktok instagram facebook youtube and twitter and most of the time rumble uh rumble's uh shaky on if it cooperates with me but anyways i appreciate y'all and on to the next one